We have a tremendous opportunity to help with this Ukrainian refugee crisis right now. This crisis has hit very close to home for me. My wife is from that part of the world. My family used to live in Ukraine. They were Germans that lived there about 150 years ago. And I actually worked as a missionary in that division for seven years. I have many friends, many people that I care about, and many church members now here in Orlando that have family that's suffering there. In fact, my church, the Markham Wood Seventh-day Adventist Church, had adopted Ukraine as our country of mission, and we were planning a mission trip to Bucha, our Seventh-day Adventist University there, just to the northwest of Kiev. That is right now the scene of some of the heaviest fighting in all of Ukraine. And if any of you saw that video of that family that got killed at that checkpoint, that was about 10 to 15 minutes from our Seventh-day Adventist campus. So this isn't just some war in a far off country. This is a war that has hit very close to home for me personally and for my congregation. And I want to tell you what God has done. We've seen his hand here in the last few weeks. I found out that one of our church leaders, in fact, the main church leader who is responsible for the finances of Ukraine and our church on the territory of Ukraine was actually here in Orlando when the war started and is stuck here right now. I went and talked with him and he said that we have this incredible opportunity because they are right ready to distribute funds that are donated here through our church, any church in the Florida conference, or through our church website, which we have up now, which we're taking donations from, from all across America. And he can hand out funds that we give literally within a day or two of someone giving funds. We have tens of thousands of Adventists and other people that are neighbors and church leaders that have left their homes and now they're headed to Western Ukraine. We need money for transportation. We need money for food. We need money for heating. It's, it's winter there. It's snowing from time to time there. And it is fast becoming the world's largest humanitarian crisis that we've seen so far this century. And God worked it out so that the person who is most responsible for giving funds to our Seventh-day Adventist church members was in our backyard. Now in our church, we were already fortunate enough this just this last weekend to raise $50,000, a little over 50,000, that is being put to use right now, just a day or two after our church took our, up our collection. So I would encourage you, if you wanna be part of this, and if you're a Christian, I wanna challenge you because God could do all of this by himself. He owns the cattle on a thousand hills. But what does he have a church here for? Why are we here? And when a terrible humanitarian crisis occurs on this planet and God wants to help, who does he use? Does he send money via Western Union from heaven? Does he come and help feed these people? He asks us to do it as his hands, his feet, his church. So I would encourage you, even if it requires some sacrifice on our part, a lot of our brothers and sisters, their friends, their family, and millions of other people in Ukraine that have no connection to our church are in dire need right now of our help. So I would encourage you, make a donation today, and let's be a part of being God's hands and feet on this earth.